This time I give you a run through to my apps I have installed on my phone. Make sure you have a Philippine App Store or Google Play Store account because most of the apps are not available internationally, especially the banking apps. You will see what I'm doing here on the side. One app to use in the Philippines is Waze because this one is a route planner and if you go somewhere you can see how to use it get route estimates so this is really useful the next app is google maps this is also very handy even here in the philippines and if the provinces because it shows a lot of roads and even the smaller roads in the province are listed if you are interested in news, I can recommend the Philstar app. This one really shows information in English from Metro Manila. This is, as you can see, the Philippine Star. And a little down you have the Freeman, which gives the Cebu news in English. But it also has, as you can see, the Filipino news so if you are able to read and understand Tagalog and Visayas this app is really handy and for international news I recommend world news from news fusion it gives you a good overview what's going on in the world for financial things you will have to install Gcash from globe this works with your cell phone number and as you can see you have an electronic wallet in peso and i really use it for paying uh, when i buy on lazada or paying my bills because i pay my signal tv my water bill my globe broadband my veco electric bill and even my cell phone with this app and you can see there is a lot of things you can do with this app so the next app then I have here on this side is Shopee, even I don't really use it that much. It's the second biggest yeah, online shop here in the Philippines after Lazada and I can recommend it. It's, it got better over the last years. So if you buy things you don't find on Lazada, you just use Shopee. Then you will see I have apps for Metro Bank here in the third row, Metro Bank, BPI Mobile, PNB Mobile and ING Philippines. These you will go only get here in the Philippine Play Store or App Store and most banks offer online banking and offer wallets uh, and apps so it's easy to use then and then you can do online banking easily. For money transfer there is world remit i don't really use it i just have it installed in case i need it then i also have wise installed former transfer wise and this one is also handy if you need to send money from one country to another what i like to use is atsimo because atsimo has the possibility to directly send money from bank accounts or credit cards to your electronic wallet this uh, one I use usually if I want to transfer money fast from my credit card to my Gcash G electronic wallet. And as you can see here, I had transfers done before where I sent 25,000 peso from my credit card to the Gcash electronic wallet. And this was done within one or two minutes only. So it's really fast and it really works good. And they have a good rates for exchange. Then we have Paymaya, which is yeah, likewise to Gcash. It's also very common here. I have no account yet. And what is really interesting here in the Philippines is coins because this one is the cryptocurrency wallet for the Philippines. As you can see, I have some peso in my Philippine peso wallet, but I also have a Bitcoin wallet, an Ethereum wallet, Bitcoin cash and Ripple. 
And the good thing is you can directly transfer and buy from one wallet to the next. So it takes the regular time for the cryptocurrencies to get exchanged. But if I would have uh, 5,000 peso in my peso wallet, I can directly buy Bitcoin with this. And minutes later, I have this amount in Bitcoin and vice versa. So coins pH is really interesting to use here. If you are into international banking, then I recommend you, you install Skrill. Skrill, I always say, is like the PayPal of the banks. And you easily can transfer money from one account to another with Skrill. It's a little more expensive, but they offer more banks internationally. Then, of course, PayPal. And as you can see, I have Ledger Live for my some coins I still have. Then we come to Lazada. This is the Amazon of the Philippines, one can say. Here you buy really everything. You can pay with Gcash, credit card. They have cash on delivery. The service is really great. If there's something wrong, it's usually the sellers and not the Lazada. And I can really recommend this. Then for local weather, I can recommend using Windy and make sure to download this app because only this app is the officially and free version. There is a other app available with the same name but a different icon and that app costs money and this is that's the fake one. So make sure to download Windy, this one, because it shows you the regular, the local weather and the weather forecast is easy to do and then you can get a very detailed weather forecast. Sometimes it's necessary to have a VPN and I can recommend OpenVPN because that's open source and therefore more secure. Then we have LBC Connect that is handy if you send goods to other people and just want to track the numbers. But usually LBC is quite reliable here and fast. The next app is Food Panda. This is not so common here in Cebu, maybe more in Manila. They don't offer that many restaurants here in the Cebu area and I don't really use it that much, but I show you. But what you need to install in the Philippines is Grab. That's the Uber of the Philippines. Because Grab is not just the yeah, travel app, but they start, let's start with the food app. So you can order food from any restaurant here and they deliver it and the prices are really good. Then they have Grab Express, where you can send things to other people. They pick it up here like Lala Move is doing. They pick it up at your doorstep and deliver it to the other guys' doorstep. So this is really handy too. Then you have Grab Mart where you can order yeah, groceries in the supermarket and they deliver this to your home, to your doorstep. And then we have Grab Car. That's the Uber of the Philippines where you can easily hail a ride to go somewhere and it's a little more expensive than a taxi or the public transport which I will give information now in the video. Even if the country is opening up again it might be necessary to have a contract tracing app and the tracing app here in the Philippines is Trace. When you live here in Cebu your airport of choice is of course Mactan and they have an app that you should use for booking flights, checking in flights and everything. All airlines have own apps so I just show you Cebu Pacific here because this is the most used because of the cheaper prices than Philippine Airlines but just download the app and you are ready to go. With public transport being pushed here in Cebu, you definitely need the MyBus mobile app for the MyBus system here in Cebu, which is run by SM. 
The one app not to miss is Ankas. This is for Habal Habal riding in the city or in the province. And this one is really yeah, famous here in the Philippines. Made for the Cebu city is J Transit, the Cebu Jeepney Navigation. At the moment, I don't know if this is really in use and covers all the routes. It was that way for some time ago before COVID. Just try it out and see if it suits you. For delivery options, you can get Lala Move. This is not only for getting food from restaurants, but you can also order a Lala Move driver if you sold some items to send it over to the buyer and they handle everything. One more delivery app you can use here in Cebu and the Philippines is Honest Bee. For TV, usually here in Cebu, Sky is the choice and the app they use is MySky to check your contract and everything. For the last app, I didn't get the audio footage right. So if you don't get Sky via cable, then you can go for Signal via satellite and the app is Signal Play. And don't forget to like and share my channels for future updates. Bye bye.